But uh, yeah, I wanted to take this apart and see what was wrong with it. And uh, this right here is the problem. Fan don't work no more. So it's a brand new fan. I got it from Deep in the Mines. It was actually a fan for an S5, so I'm sure that it just wasn't able to handle the amount of current. It is definitely the ground wire that's burnt, so there was too much current flowing through. That's one main explanation. So I'm going to replace this fan and we'll hook it back up and see what, how it goes. What was happening with this thing was it was I would turn it on, it would hash for a second, then it would turn back off, and it would start blinking red. It would blink green a couple times, and then it just could turn off and go red. All the lights on the hash board would turn off, and I went to take it apart, figured out what the problem was. Um, I know the hash boards are good, they're working. I know this fan's good, it's only spinning at 5,000 RPMs, but I didn't look at this fan when I had the GUI open. I'm pretty certain it wasn't even showing up. I don't see why it would show up. It's not even turning on when I turn it on. So, uh, I got another fan. I'm going to replace it. So, obviously, if there's too much current going through, it's the connector. And I need a lower amp fan. As you can see, the difference here, 3.3 amps. This one, 2.7 amps. So, we're drawing less current. 12 volts. Make sure I put it in going the right way. This one doesn't have an arrow for airflow. Yes, it does. Okay, so. So we go this way. This slide it in and out of my stuff. Well, now I'm going to put this back. Just so you guys know, the T9 does work at 220 with an APW3 at 1600 uh, watts. This thing worked fine with an APW3. I got an APW7 for it, which puts out 1800 watts. I first thought it was that problem, or that was the problem now I, I know for a fact it's not the power supply's problem. I'm, I'm going to take the APW7 off of the L3, put it back on the T9, put this APW3 back on the L3. Uh, 